Xin chào Vietnam, this is your Delot Guide Scott from Sonder Hills Farmstay and Tours. And in this video, we're going to check out one of the most famous silk farms in Delot. So when you come here, this is the room that you want to start in. There's a video that actually walk you through each stage of the silk making process. So the journey begins right here. Below me, I have some silkworms that are eating mulberry leaves. And what they'll do is they'll eat a bunch of these and then they'll build a cocoon. And from the cocoon, the silk can be extracted and turned into thread, which can then make clothes. So I've been trying to get a shot of these guys moving around. But for the most part, they seem pretty content on just eating mulberry leaves, getting nice and fat. Time to go to sleep, make some silk. So you can see here, these guys behind me, they've already cocooned up and they're covered in silk. Really, really fine thread. Sounds like the machines are on, so we're gonna go take a look at the workers making silk from silkworms. Back here is where the cocoons are taken and then they boil them in water and then after they're boiled in water they use a machine to extract the thread from them. After they extract this they then wind these on giant spools which can then be used in a loom to make clothes and garments. This machine is wild, man. It's like, it's totally alive. I feel like I'm in the 1900s or something. So if you want, you can actually eat these worms. A lot of Vietnamese like to eat them and claim that they're very tasty. Right next to the factory, there's a gift shop. They've got all kinds of silk products that you can buy, take home, share with your friends and family, share with that special loved one. So one of the unique things about this place is that the length of the threads can be anywhere from 800 to 1,000 meters long. And most threads in other parts of Vietnam can only get to about 500 meters. This is due to the cooler climate here, which allows them to produce a higher quality silk from the worms. Feels like really, really nice quality. I think the wife would like one of these. If you need a bottle of water or a smoothie or something, there's a cafe up there. It's pretty good. It's like 25,000 dong for a smoothie, 10,000 for a water. Not too bad. Had to come back outside because it's really noisy in there. You can probably hear the factory on the microphone right now. Apologize for that. Do I recommend this place? Absolutely. I think it's very cool. It's interesting to see how the silkworms go from cocooning to the thread to your clothes. You can see a video here that'll go in much more detail for you if you really want to find out the full process of silk making. While you're here, you probably want to visit Elephant Falls, which is right across the street. That's going to be our next video. And then also there is uh, Maylin Coffee, which is pretty close by. So you can kind of make it a, a trio uh, of tourist stops and they're all very cheap, 10 or 20,000 dong to get in here, go to Elephant Falls. And Maylin Coffee is free unless you buy the coffee, which is 90,000 dong for the Weasel Coffee. Please check out saunderhills.com, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. What do you think of the silk? And I'll see you guys in the next video.